Hello and welcome, I'm Nefo42 and in this episode I'm going to give you a quick tip to help your prints stick to the print bed. Okay, so this might seem a bit obvious and there might be already a lot of people out there doing this, but one thing that I've found that helps prints stick to a bed like this is to use cleaning agent on the print bed. Now, it may sound very obvious and it probably is, but all you need to do is you need to go out, you get some microfiber cloths. You take your microfiber cloth and you get some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, you can use any kind of isopropyl alcohol. We have this one. There's also another one which I've just put into a, a different type of jar. Put a little bit onto the cloth, rub that down onto the Prusa i3 Mark III surface, and then after that, your prints will stick a lot better. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other things that can factor in issues with this. You could have uh, bad um, calibration, all this kind of stuff. If you're having issues like that with the Prusa i3 Mark III, then do let me know in the comment section below. One thing that I found that helped uh, a hell of a lot was to just re-go through all the configuration, because it had been a very long time since I last configured the printer. I'm guessing things do kind of change over time. I recalibrated it. I recalibrated the uh, first layer height, and that is a very important part of it as well. You want to make sure that it is filling up all the edges correctly. There is a file that I will link in the section below, which I use on, uh, which I found on Thingiverse, which actually just creates a flat square on the print bed. Now this flat square goes back and forth, and as it goes back and forth, you can see the distance between the layer lines. You can feel how smooth it is on the top. You can see if it's peeled up, or if there's gaps, or anything like that. And once you peel it off, you'll end up with something like this. Now this right here is a fairly perfect square that was printed off. I'll probably talk about this in another video anyway, but uh, yeah. If you get gaps like over this side, that's an issue. If you have it perfectly smooth like over this side, that's really good. Now the side that was on the print bed, that was actually on the printer, is nice and smooth. It feels like, feels like paper. Uh, you, you probably couldn't tell um, that there was layers or different bits of plastic there until you kind of run your nail over it. But you want to make sure that it fills out all the edges as well. If it doesn't, then there may be an issue there and it might be worth uh, trying to go a little bit closer. That about does it for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me think comments with us at Nifa42 and thanks for watching.